Yeah, good day, guys. I'm uh, Nathan Grime from the North Melbourne Footy Club. Um, yeah, don't go off me last year's performance for average 70. Get me in your team this year. I'm willing to get lateral and uh, try and pick up a few cheap kicks on the switch and uh, sneak me in. Uh, also, I just want to say, last time I did this, I'd had a few beers and stuffed it up, but uh, it was off-season. I'm in training mode now. Dream Team is all right with me. Dream Team is all right. Oh, yeah? Got it right this time. But, yeah, cheers and, uh, and have a good Dream Team season. Uh, dream Team's alright with me, Dream Team's alright. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Uh, obviously Roy's not here with us at the moment, he's on his honeymoon at the moment. Check out, he sent this in. G'day boys, Roy here, Coach of Destroy. Just in Fiji at the moment on my honeymoon. The win was great thanks, definitely the second best day of my life behind winning the Dream Team Premiership in 2006. Hopefully both of those will be a distant memory though, when I win the sweet ass car this year. Sorry Danielle, but seriously, I do. You do- Oh shit. Oh, and before you pricks give me shit about it, I'm not flexing, I promise. No, I'm not. I'm not. Thanks, Roy. They've obviously got a gym over there, mate. Uh, looking pretty good. And What are you doing? I'm not flexing either. I'm not flexing. All right, so the game is now open, and it's absolutely sensational. Let me improve the whole thing by about 500%. It looks awesome. We've got all those players there that we can pick on our benches and all that sort of stuff. What do you like about it, Calvin? <laughs> Yes, thanks. Q in Calvin. Uh, I like their player profiles. Click on a player and it gives you what they're projected to score over the next three rounds. Very as angry. well as it tells you what they average on each ground around Australia. It's full of stats and it's full of goodness. Dog. Yeah, well that's awesome. The other massive thing, because it's called the assistant coach, oh, what yeah? you sign up for, basically in that they've got the analyzer. Now in the analyzer there is a heap of things you can look at and it helps you with your trades, helps you with um, again like our players are averaging and all their projections and you only get those stats if you do sign up to the analyzer so make sure you do that the other big thing for that that i really like is that i'm already thinking about 2012 because i've probably already written off this season i don't think i'm going to win it but in 2012 and december i think it is you're going to get the prices you're going to have like a little planner and oh, all that sort of stuff nice. to be able to start making your team from december so we don't have to wait until february one next year to be all over awesome. sounds good <laughs> G'day, we're here with the big guy. He actually doesn't have his beer today. We need a tip, Mont, for 2011. i got one big tip for 2011. Less players with X in their name, more players with Z in their name. Well, I don't know what that means, but... Bazungu! Give him Zach an alphabet, alphabet no, suit. No, no Zach Clark. No okay. Xavier Clark. No X's, more Z's. <laughs> OK. <laughs> oh, mate, tip for Dream Team this year would have to be getting Nathan Foley in the team for sure. <laughs> As a St Kilda fan, I can give you a couple of legs up. The kid that they picked up from WA, Cripps, yep. they're going to give him a good chance. He's going to he's going to come off the half-back flank. And well, to be perfectly honest with you, the only player that I know is Dean Cox. I wouldn't have a clue what he looks like, but my boyfriend's obsessed with him. So obsessed with him that last year we purchased a kitten, little baby kitten this big, whose name is Cox. Toey. Uh, my tip for this year is Harris, not Swallow, for Gold Coast. Have to go Swanee. My tip this year is Brock McLean. He hasn't been pulling too many burnouts in the car. He's put in a good pre-season and he's going to stay on the park all year. And your tip? I'm back in Cox. The, the kitten all the way. Just because she likes the kitten. <laughs> Two toey girls. And it's it for 2011. What do you got? Not Dusty Martin, but Reese Conker. Reese Conker. He's up. Up and about! We have got with us one of the elite dream teamers Whoa. of last year. He's a very good coach. He? Uh, finished 24th overall, which was a magnificent effort. And he just beat me. Only oh, just beat you, yeah, massively. Or your mum. Yeah. Player. All right, so anyway, Staggy, you're having a crack at the car this year, like a lot of us will be. What are some of your ideas and tips for this year? First of all, pleasure to be here, fellas. Thanks for having me on. Um, look, in previous years, I've obviously pumped for the guns where you look at strategy, yeah. like most people, but. This year with the buyers to contend with, obviously it's going to be a time for change. So I'm looking at a few more mid-range players to yeah. fit in my side. Obviously you've got Ablett with his buyers both out of the way by round 10. So if I can fit a mid-range player in the midfield, you know, I'll be able to pick him up later on in the season. So what other players are you looking to pick up straight from the get-go? I'll say Dane Swan. Swan. You can say Swan. <laughs> what a good pick. He's in my team. He could be on every side. 
Um, obviously, Bryce Gibbs, yep. Goddard in the back line. Yep. I suppose Brett Deledio comes into calculations. Um, as far as mature age recruits go, looking at Callum, nice. Cam Richardson, Tendai Mazungu. Is that how you pronounce it? That'll do. He's That'll got do. his head in his head. Yeah. Yeah. It'll work. Works for me. Um, rookies, you're obviously looking at Swallow. Yeah, cool. Nice. Those types. So I reckon they'll figure prominently in my starting side. Beautiful. Awesome. Well, I guess we've got to go with the buys. Have you got any ideas about how you're going to do, how you're going to work with the buys this year? Not really at this early stage. I sort of, I want to have a look at the pre-season and, and just see how things unfold. But, you know, obviously you can't really group players such as your three belong players in the midfield anymore. Yeah. You know, you're going to have to order your strategy a bit there. So, yeah. you know, probably be looking to <coughs> probably space out my players a fair bit across my side, you know. I'm going to have Swan obviously in the midfield, then, you know, it's a question mark whether you can put Penderbury in there as well. Yeah, so. big time. But so, yeah, it's going to be massively hard with stuff like that. So. Obviously with the rookies, you're looking to sort of get blokes in there that have got their buys late, so you can get the, the most out of them, there's cash cows, so yep. that's probably the main strategy I'll have. That's a good tip, Doug. Yeah, awesome. Well, Staggy, I hope you do pretty well this year. I'm sure that you're going to have a bit of a crack against some of your mates, um, and I hope that we see Cowan and you at Irish. Yeah. Pretty quite in your bets because you oh. had a couple of bets this year, didn't you? We did have a few bets, mate. $100 was it, Kevin? I think I'm wanted on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are here down in Launceston at Royal Park, in the beautiful Royal Park here at the minute, uh, having a chat to Nathan Grimer from the North Melbourne Football Club. Thanks for your time, Nathan. Now, you are a bit of a DT, well, you're pretty shit at DT, to be honest. <laughs> like, you've come in at a 70 average last year, um, but a bit of a super coach specialist. You've been in my super coach team, but we won't talk about that game. You boys love the game down there at the uh, North Melbourne Football Club. How have you gone with your dream team before? Yeah, we uh, we get stuck into it down at North. I think uh, at times the boys uh, probably take it a little bit more serious than the real stuff. Uh, as you last year might have seen, we didn't have the greatest year, but you know we had it. Well, we had the fourth or first, fifth best league in uh, in Super Coach, but. I think we're trying to get a few of the boys to get a dream team league together and maybe get a gig in your league and, and see how we go. Have a crack. Um, who, who takes it the most seriously? Uh, Aaron Edwards takes it pretty seriously. He, he, uh, he enjoys it. Hamish McIntosh, those boys, they, uh, we spend a fair bit. Of t we, I think we all chip in a fair bit, so it's a nice prize packet. I think... Uh, I think Dave Hale might have won that. We've given him the arse now he's at Hawthorne, so oh, yeah, of he course. can spend his money elsewhere. So yeah, so uh, who who would pick themselves in their own team? You know what, Daniel Pratt he picks himself. That's probably why he's probably the worst because he can't. <laughs> he's had a few injuries over the last couple of years, Chewy. So he uh, he does. But uh, I think Hamish had himself in the other year when he when he was a bit cheaper. So um, yeah, I don't know about blokes picking themselves. I reckon they're. Uh, with my average, I definitely don't pick myself, but uh, <laughs> yeah. awesome. that's all about the change. Well, we're looking at this year now, 2011, massive, massive year for DT. So who are some of the must-haves, you reckon, from the North boys? Um, you know, well, Drew Petrie's an obvious one coming back from injury, so he'll, uh, he'll be pretty good. Big Drew, he's training well, and uh, he's hopefully got over his foot problems, and uh, he'll play forward, so hopefully he can, can snag a few. So he's a good one. Liam Anthony back from injury, he's... Uh, he doesn't Roy's pick, all over yeah, him. He doesn't pick up team. a man, so you know that you don't <laughs> get points for that, so that won't affect him. He, uh, he can rack up big numbers, but yeah, I don't know, actually. I reckon uh, from the younger guy, Sean Attlee, first, our first draft pick, he's, uh, he's good, and uh, he heard he butchers it a little bit, but that doesn't matter in Dream Team. So <laughs> not at all. As long as he can find it. No, he's good, and, uh, and we've got a mature age player, Cam Richardson. This is, this is the so, one on my radar. What can you tell us about him? Yeah, he's dominating pre so he's a really good runner, really fit. Um, He's 23 and uh, ready to go, I guess. So whether he, he comes in and plays straight away or not, um, I'm not too sure. But, uh, you know, Ryan Bastard, that was the one last year, one that was pumping up. So I reckon he'd be the equivalent the equivalent this year out of our newer guys. So. Oh, well, we'll have to keep a massive lookout for him over these next couple of weeks. Bloody All right. Well, thanks, Nani. I hope that you can have a better Dream Team year this year because you're in your third year. So that means it's a breakout sort of year for Dream Team. Um, yeah, I don't know. What sort of things do you reckon you can do to make yourself a better DT player? Yeah, I don't know. If I do, to be honest, I do. I spend a bit of time looking at the scores. When I come off the ground, I um, quickly go to the phone and, and check what actually... <laughs> if we get beaten, I get a good score. I tell you what, it eases to blow a little bit of a bad game. <laughs> but uh, I'm all, all about the team. But uh, in, in all seriousness, I reckon I'll probably just get a bit more lateral this year and uh, get those cheap kicks. So Beautiful. That's what we want to see. <laughs> right, exactly. That's all I'm about, cheap touches. So. <laughs> awesome. Good luck, boys. Thanks, Nan. Back at the 
the bar we got <laughs> Chooky Rookie, the king of the rooks. Welcome, brother. Cheers, now, you're here to give us three good rookies in each position, starting with the backs. Who am I going to get? That's right. Well, uh, Ben Jacobs from Ports, one you're probably going to have a look at. He's uh, ready made word you keep hearing with uh, Jacobs. He's yep. a DPP, so you can switch him around with uh, your blokes in the midfield, and um, he averaged over 100 in the tap cup, so he's got that going for him. The big one with him as well, though, is he plays with Port, who, who does get a game, they've got the last five anyway. So he's yep. going to have 12, 11 weeks to Make his cash. generate the cash. Lock him in. Uh, Nick Digan, another one who uh, from Carlton, he's, uh, another, he's a mature age player. Yep. Um, I, uh, I didn't know he was that mature age, those people have been quite and senior, but... Uh, but no, I oh, yeah. different guy, different yeah, guy. Different so, guy. No, apparently had a really good go in the uh, intra club the other day, so he's a nice chance. And my other one, I'm going to uh, hedge my bets with uh, Double H, that's um, at Essendon, uh, Dyson Heppel and uh, Michael Hibbert. And um, yeah, one of those two, I expect we'll get a go. They're Heppel's both uh, Heppel, you reckon? Yeah. They both got medals last year. Heppel won the Morris medal in the uh, Tap Cup. Yep. And uh, Hibbert got the one where, that uh, Barlow got the year before, the Beautiful. VFL's most promising young player. So. Nice. All right, now let's look at let's look at the all important mids because the, I like those little boys. How about you? I love them. Yeah, there's a there's a um, lot of people deciding whether to go for a Dave Swallow. He's going to come in at about 160 grand, or save yourself 70 70 grand and go for one of his teammates like Matt Weller or even Mark Locke, both in the um, yep. leadership team. Um, it depends when you put them on the field. I think if you're going to go on the field, you've got to have Swallow. If you're going to if you're Thinking about your bench, then maybe Weller or some of that. So that's your blood. Or he's not a rookie, but you just save yourself a whole lot of cash and go with Daniel Harris, who's about 115. Yep. Um, other than that, you're probably looking at uh, uh, yeah, Mitch Wallace. Um, this guy is an absolute ball magnet. A little picture of him, that's him. I didn't know you were going to bring your own material. Props. Props. Really? Yeah. This is good. You uh, ball magnet, that's, that's him walking past the kids' playground. They're just the balls. Just, they're, <laughs> Magnetised, so um, <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he got himself uh, average over 100 DTs in both the TAC Cup and the National Championship. Those numbers look he's, good. he's in a top four team, um, he's only 92k. The only issue is it's the Bulldogs, it's going to be a hard team to crack. If he does though, just get on. Um, the other one's probably yeah, Tendai Mzungu, if I'm pronouncing it right, like I said, he had a crack at before. Can you say it slow for me? Tendai Mzungu. I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go with. Um, he's probably got some of the best job security of any of the guys who selected in the midfield, and uh -huh, he's a DPP as well. So yeah. Now, I'm tipping there's not going to be many rucks. Chuck, what do you got? No, there's not. Um, Zach Smith's probably your best bet everyone's going to have here. Yeah. At the Gold Coast, he's going to be star in a few years, but and most importantly, he's going to get game time now. Yeah. Um, the other one it might be Joel Tippett. No. You put him on there. He's not going to get him any points or even any at all, but he, he gives you the uh, option of switching around. He's going to get a game. With Drew Petrie. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, straight in the forward line. Go on, Chip, what do you got there? Here the forwards. Um, you're probably going to look at Cam Richardson um, from North. He's one of your best bets to get around yeah. one day, yeah. though. Um, he's listed as forward, but he'll probably come off the half back line, so hopefully uh, cheap posies there. Yeah. Um, Isaac Smith from Hawthorne. Smithy. Yeah, yeah, another mature age player. He's, um, yeah. He was playing Ballarat Footy League last year, so it's yeah. a going to be a pretty big jump if he plays seniors this yeah. year. But, um, Hawthorne oh, like turned him. over a lot of players yeah, last year and um, there might be a chance for him. And finally, um, Ian Kellerman. Now, yep. I didn't have to look in my uh, prospectus to see whether he was mature age, because surely no one in Australia has called anyone Ian in the past 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> definitely um, definitely mature age. Yeah, he comes in at about 28 even, I think. Oh, 26, 28. Cool. It's pretty odd, but um, he's, he's a good chance to get a small forward role in the Allied. And at 80 grand. Line, so. Exactly yeah, right. Awesome. So. Cool. Good. Thanks, Chuck. Rightio, stop watching this rubbish. You've got to get out yeah. there. The teams yeah. are ready to be picked. Ready get to be in picked. There. But you know what? Thanks for watching. This is the place to stay. DreamTeamTalk.com. That's where you'll find all the information. Yep, so it's going to be a huge pre-season. Lots and lots of things to do. And yeah, good luck. Have them all. See you next time. <laughs>